I'm uh, no longer political. <laughs> yeah, last time I was here, it was probably pretty political because I didn't like the dude. And then a dude I liked one. So now I'm not really political. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like the dude before uh, but going back before him I liked the dude he was there in for eight years and he was awesome like he made me feel good about the future and stuff like I knew he could handle it I didn't even watch the news when Obama was president stopped watching the daily show I was like this guy's got everything in control I'm just going to autopilot it through these eight years. And then the next guy, oh my God. Biff from fucking Back to the Future 2. <laughs> As a nerd, I should have seen that shit coming, you guys. I should have been warning people in the streets in 2015, like, don't let Biff get the almanac, man. <laughs> I've seen what happens. He's gonna live in a tower and fuck all our moms. <laughs> That's what happened in the second movie. <laughs> Big plot point. A lot of tower mom fucking in that movie. God damn it. I'd rather be in the Western one. That's way more fun. And then... Now the new guy, and everything's cool. And I feel weird. Like, I feel like we didn't get to celebrate. You know, like, the guys that won. Like, the guys that lost celebrated. <laughs> they had that crazy kager on January 6th. <laughs> that shit got out of hand, man. <laughs> I've been to a lot of kagers that got out of hand. That one got really out of hand. <laughs> Fucking Kid Rock was playing, then things went nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Was he there? I don't know. I feel like we didn't get to celebrate. The winners didn't get to celebrate. And I like I w live with a family that. Um, so my wife uh, was born <laughs> born Republican, <laughs> pretty much, because that's where she came from. And now she's right down the middle. And uh, her brother-in-law, though, we really don't get along. So I was like worried about all that. Now he's gone nuts. He's like one of the Q guys now, you know. <laughs> the one thing I'll say about the QAnon people, I kind of like them for this reason. <laughs> them and the All Lives Matter people and the MAGA dipshits. You know what I love about them? That they're super merched up. <laughs> you can pick them out of a crowd, man. <laughs> You know when you're seeing one of them, it's like insane clown posse fans, man. Like, they wear bullshit representing the bullshit that they believe in. So you can tell a douchebag from a long ways away now. Like the Q hat, the Q shirt, the Q beer cozy. For me, it's become the new Ed Hardy. I just pick a dude out of a crowd and go, we'll never be friends, homie. <laughs> We've got nothing in common, my friend. We shouldn't even meet. <laughs> and I'll get off the politics, because obviously, you know me. I'm a nerd, I'm a metalhead. Those are the things I care about, you know? So for me, the last six years are weird because Metallica's good again. <laughs> and I kind of want to have sex with Peter Parker's aunt. <laughs> Like, those are the big issues that concern me. I never found that woman attractive my whole life. Aunt May, to be honest, I kind of fucking hated her as a kid because she would ruin every comic book she stepped into. And John Romita drew her like a fucking ghost face lady. And it's like, oh, man. And then she'd be, he'd be hanging out and doing his job, and, and she'd come into the room with skeleton head and just be like, Peter Parker, don't go out in the city. That's where the menacing Spider-Man is. And I'm like, what a fucking dumb dildo. <laughs> Spider-Man lives in the house with her. <laughs> and now I watch those last several movies and my wiener's like, what's happening? <laughs> 
I don't know, Wiener. I think as you get old, things change. And now we kind of want to fuck Aunt May. It's weird. And don't get me started on Superman's mom. <laughs> Diane Lane plays Ma Kent now. My wiener's like, what's happening? <laughs> I'm like, I know. We're going to whack it to Ma Kent. Just you watch. 